Okay, welcome back to the final lesson in this module. Here I am back in layout, and I just want to talk quickly about the different ways you might want to share these drawings with your clients and your project team. It goes without saying that you can print and send hard copies of these drawings. I don't think I need to go into any more detail on that. You can also easily export them as a bundled PDF that you can email out by going to File, Export, and then choosing PDF in the options down here. Okay, you can also obviously export them as a DWG or a DXF. Now you might want to share these drawings with other consultants such as engineers and they typically like to have DWGs or DXF drawings. For this, I found the best method is simply to, if we take the floor plan, is simply to hide the page notes, 2D graphics and title blocks layer. And then if you go to file, export and select DWG or DXF, then your consultants will get a nice clean background image from which to work. Okay, but for me, the most exciting option for sharing your work is the SketchUp viewer software. Let's have a look at that. So here we are on SketchUp's website. If you simply Google SketchUp Viewer, you'll be able to find this link. But essentially, SketchUp Viewer is a free piece of software from SketchUp that you can get your clients and project team to download. You can then share your model file with them and it allows them to view but not edit your 3D model on their mobile phone, tablet or desktop. There's probably a whole other module I could teach about the possibilities with using this, but you can also set up augmented reality and even virtual reality sessions using the SketchUp Viewer, which is particularly useful for clients who struggle to visualize or appreciate the feel of a space. To be able to do this with your SketchUp Pro subscription, I think is pretty amazing and it will become more and more important in the future, I feel. So one last thing on sharing your work, and that is Trimble Connect. So this is another service provided by SketchUp that allows multiple users to access and edit the model in the cloud. If you are running a remote office or perhaps collaborating with other architects or designers in other cities or the countries, this would be particularly useful. I'll let you explore this more in depth on your own, just to be aware that this thing does exist. Obviously you can also open SketchUp files in Revit, and also in Archicad if you wanted to work with other teams that were using different software. That's the beauty of SketchUp for me is that it does play very nicely with other BIM softwares. So that's pretty much it for me for the schematic design module. In the next module, we'll be adding more detail to our drawings and getting to grips with sections and shadow studies amongst other things as we move into design development. As usual, if you have any comments or questions about this module, please share them in the course community and I'll respond as soon as I can. Alternatively, you can email me at mark at scala.studio and I'll get back to you there. See you in the next module.